good shots. Dead deer. So you might be wondering, why are we taking a rack with us? Well, the plan is to shoot a couple does and then that is gonna be the way that we take it back. Either way, we're gonna be leaving here just soon. We gotta finish packing up stuff. We're gonna actually pick up Frenchie at the airport. He's flying in from Salt Lake City. Yeah, we're gonna go to Nick's place tonight and shoot some does on their lease, Cody and I are. So, should be fun. Yeah, that's the game plan for the video and um, should be fun. So we're here at the airport now. We're gonna pick up Frenchie. Frenchie is Nick's main cameraman. Um, they're gonna be going on a trip. Just soon they're going out to Oklahoma. And then I think maybe Kansas too. So that's why he's flying in. So last weekend I filmed Nick shooting a buck on the golf course. So that was pretty cool. So he's bucked out here in Ohio. Now, so now he's gonna go on a trip out to the Midwest to see if he can shoot a couple more deer. So yeah, we're here to pick him up. I don't know what flight he's, or what he's flying on. So. I'm gonna message him and then go from there. What's up, buddy? I'm at A3. Okay. Is that just like the General United pickup? Um, yeah. Not okay. that I know of. Okay. It's, know, just, know. it's it literally is just the. No, it just says A3 on the door. Oh, I see you. You'll find it. Yeah. Okay. We're yeah, we're right here. Yeah. I'll sit in the back. Alright. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> Cut. Alright, we made it to Nick's house and we are now back on the road. Heading out to the farm to go hunting tonight. We're gonna park this thing at public and then go in and set up. It's a little bit late. By the time we get there it'll probably be close to like 5 o'clock. So not ideal. Really good odds of us killing a deer tonight. It's a little bit warmer than than I'd like it to be, but I mean the deer are still gonna be moving, especially the does. We should at least still get an opportunity or a couple of opportunities. So yeah, we got uh, probably 15 minutes over there yet, and then it's gonna be a good night. Let's set up. Where, uh, And there's a lot of hunting pressure on the neighboring properties, so they just... Alright, does it matter if I'm filming too? Last time I was in here filming Tom, it was not nearly this open in here, but I have no doubt that we'll definitely see a deer tonight. So hopefully they'll come in here and give us a shot opportunity. We just got here to the stand now, and we're gonna try to set up all our stuff as quickly as possible, and then hopefully we should have a pretty good set. Scrambling to get my arrow out. Five. 
we got all set up in the tree now. I'm keeping up here for probably 20, 30 minutes already. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a deer on the food plot, button buck. I filmed Tom out of the stand a couple weeks ago and everything was still green. It looks a lot different now. A lot of the leaves have fallen. Um, but yeah, October 25th, we're only shooting does tonight. Bucks are off the limit. So I really enjoy shooting does. Just deer in my bow is cool. In the last two years, I've only shot one deer with my bow. Part of that was last year I broke my wrist, so I wasn't able to hunt much with a bow, but I'm ready to, definitely ready to kill something again. So something I want to show you is the boots that I'm wearing are dry coat boots. A couple things that I really like about them are well, they're super comfortable. They fit my feet really well. Um, they're waterproof, especially like water this stand, all that stuff. But they're super comfortable. You can cinch down the back to really make it fit around your foot. And uh, they're not super smelly, which is also really good for hunting, which is what we're doing right now. They have boots for all kinds of different stuff. They got hunting boots, they got waders, all that stuff. So we've actually got a discount code on their official website. Link will be down in the description. Go check it out down there. If you use the code DRYHUNT, you can save 20% off on all your war stuff for $50 or more. So it's a pretty good deal we got going on. So if you want to save some money on some new boots, get yourself some new boots, some new dry coat boots, check out the link in the description or go to their website, drycoatusa.com, and use code HUNTDRY. That'll save you some money. Thanks to Draco for sponsoring this video. So far, we just haven't seen, we saw some turkeys and then a button buck. And other than that, we haven't really seen much, but hopefully it'll turn on here pretty soon. So many eyes around right now.
This is the arrow, whizzed right through. She's stuck in a little bit. Hair all the way through. Oh yeah, blood on it. A little bit of blood on the tip. It's not like soaked or anything, but definitely good blood. Yeah, she stood right here. There's, there's blood right there. Right there. Oh, she's right there. <laughs> oh, that was a smoke shot. Smoke shot. Absolutely smoked. That's a big deer, too. That's right there. That's a big deer. I mean, for a doe. So yeah, Coach, she did crash when you when you thought you had hurt her. Man, that is sweet. This is clearly the biggest doe too. Biggest doe in the group. Pretty obviously. But.
All right, we gotta stop up here and get ice. Um, gotta get a wallet to pay for it. And then yeah, I'm gonna get ice for the deer, grab a couple drinks, and then be back on the road. Go back, uh, put the ice in the deer, and then we'll go back to the next place and have supper, and should be a good time. This right here. That's good. Two of them. Black Rifle Coffee. Coming at you. Have a good night. Yep, you too. Nothing quite like getting ice from a gas station with bloody hands right after success one. Not much of a better feeling than that. Okay, so we made it back here now. Um, got the deer all taken care of for now. We're going to take it back home then tomorrow when we leave. Um, Cody's going to hunt in the morning. Overall, pretty good day. It just feels good to be able to whack a doe and actually smoke it. It's been, it's been so long. I needed that for sure. Yeah, I just can't thank Nick and them enough for letting me come out here and hunt on the lease. And uh, yeah, we got tomorrow morning yet, so we're gonna go upstairs, eat some good food, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Call me redneck, I don't really care. We gotta get this deer home somehow. And we don't have a truck, so I'm gonna put it on the van and take it home.